PTV, the show that is all about you writing great stories. My name is Alex, and I'm a story pirate. Now, what exactly is a story pirate? The story pirates take stories and ideas written by kids and turn them into sketch comedy <laughs> and song. And here's the wild part. They have asked me to host me, Alex. I know what you're thinking. Alex, we know that you are an incredible dancer. But can you host? Alex, we know that you're a bodybuilder. But can you host? Alex, though you did not get far, we know that your audition for The Voice was spectacular. When will a hero come along? But can you host? Those are all valid questions. And the answer, my friends, is... Well, it's yes. <laughs> Even though I've never hosted a show before, I believe in myself and I know I can do this. Oh, oh. Huh. Everything's under control. <laughs> TV. Woo! Catchy! I love theme songs. They are a perfect way to start a TV show. And believe you me, I know all about TV shows, which is good because I am the host. Would you hold on a second? Huh. Ha! Now, where were we? Ah, yes, hosting. A subject I know everything about. For you see, hosting a TV show is easy. Hosting a TV show is extremely hard. But it's also very hard. A host must possess a myriad of qualities, but the most important quality a host must have is... is... The number one quality a host must possess is charisma. Uefa! Is this charisma? Is this working? Either way, it's time for our first story inspired by a real kid. Take a look. Oh, excuse me. I didn't see you there. I'm Granny Dragon, breathing fire peacefully. Now, once upon a time, dragons weren't allowed to breathe fire. I can remember it like it was yesterday. Dragons here in Dragonland, please gather in a crowd. I have changed the law, now fire breathing's not allowed. Don't you flap your wings at me, no need to scream and shout. Read the king's lips, if you breathe fire, you're kicked out of Dragonland. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was a terrible time with a terrible king. He suggested we throw ice cream at our enemies instead of breathe fire. But the dragons revolted. We spread our wings and raised our voices. We are dragons. dragons. Come, born to breathe fire. Born to breathe fire. For seven days, the dragons made their voice heard until the king had a new announcement. Dragons here in Dragonland, I've come to make amends. Dragons aren't the enemies, they're fire-breathing friends. Other than I'm sorry, I've still one thing left to say. I declare this week of protest be the kingdom dragon. So there you have it. The king agreed to change the law. And dragons now can breathe fire wherever they want. People, beware. <gasps> Care for some freshly baked cricket cookies? No? All right. The end. Wow. Talk about charisma. That granny dragon? I could watch her read the phone book. Oh, I know! Maybe my TV persona can be like that granny dragon! She's got it all. Will you excuse me? 
Hello, I didn't see you there. It's me, Granny Dragon. Watch as I breathe fire and host a TV show. Like me. I need a character that's different from me but still feels like me. <sighs> character montage. I'm on safari, but also hosting a show. Makes no sense. I'm the first woman TV host in space, but I'm not. I'm a princess host trapped in a tower. How can I host a show if I'm trapped in a tower? Uh, none of these are working. <laughs> I wish I knew more about how to make a good character. <sighs> All right, I guess we should just watch another video. Maybe it'll teach us about, I don't know, character traits. Hello, and welcome to Story Pirates Show Not Tell. I'm Lauren, and today we're going to be exploring Show Not Tell. Everybody's heard the phrase Show Not Tell, but what does that even mean? Somebody should Show Not Tell, Show Not Tell, am I right? Well, let's do it today. We're going to be exploring how show not tell applies to character traits. A character trait is anything that describes a character, but we really want to show our reader what our character is like rather than just telling them. Let's see an example. I'm going to write about a character and then we'll see what it really would look like. Okay, so here's my first sentence. The lion was lazy. Let's see that. I'm a lazy lion. Oh no, I forgot to show not tell. I said the lion was lazy, but I didn't show what the lazy lion was doing. Okay, I can do this better. The lazy lion stretched out his paws, yawned and said, I'm not gonna do anything today. Let's see that. <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything today. Ah, that was so much better because I showed what the lion was doing. I didn't just tell the character trait. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. The ice princess was energetic. Let's see that. I am energetic. Oh no, I just told. I didn't show. Ugh. Okay, one last time. The energetic ice princess built three whole castles within the span of one hour. And then when she was done, she twirled and twirled and twirled and said, I'm amazing. Let's see that. And one, two, three. That's three castles in an hour. I'm amazing. I'm amazing. I'm amazing. Amazing. That was so much better. We showed what the character was doing and you can do the same thing in your own writing with this graphic organizer. First, you're going to write a character and give them a character trait. Then you're going to describe in this box what they're doing that shows that they have their character trait. I know that your writing's gonna be awesome now that you know how to show, not tell. Wow, what an excellent video. Show, not tell. Show, not tell. That's it! Maybe if I imagine myself as a character in the story of my life, I can find the metaphorical key to unlock the mysteries of incredible hosting. And I'll use this oversized show not tell worksheet as my guide. So now write down the character you are. Alex, A-L-E-X. Now sing the traits that you Played so far. Hmm, let's see. I'm wacky, bold, and bright. I love to read and write. Whoa! I'm a host hosting a TV show. To host a TV show, there's so much on your plate. And Alex, you can eat it all. Be a host hosting a TV show. I must embody my traits. I guess the only way to show those traits about myself is to 
be myself? That's it! I don't need any fancy persona to host this show! I can just be myself! I'm a host, hosting a TV show! Thank you, mysterious voice! You're welcome! Um, who are you, anyway? It's your friend Andrew! I think that you butt-dialed me! Oh! Oh! Ha, ha, ha. Hi! <laughs> Sorry! I missed you! I do have to go! Okay! Wow! It feels so good to just be myself! Thank you, everyone, for bearing with me. And I promise to turn my phone off before the show starts from now on. Hey! Before we go, how about we watch one more story? Now, how do you turn this off? Have we started? Okay. <clears throat> this story comes to us from a fifth grader named Cat Forest, and it is called Cat Forest. How do you think they came up with that? It's very creative. Must have just been off the top of their head. Start the story. Okay. <clears throat> Somewhere hidden far from humanity, cars, and New Jersey, there was a forest. Not a wood. And in that forest lived Fluffy the cat. Let's start at the very beginning. The beginning. Hey, what's up? I'm Fluffy. I'm a cat and I'm just chilling at my human's house. I feel like it should be lunchtime, but I'm a cat. I can't read clocks or anything. I hope my human will come soon with those delicious ribs. Oh, human! Yes? Human, can you bring me some of those delicious ribs? Oh, sure. I can bring you some of the half-eaten ribs in my beautiful, dexterous human hands. Just give me one second. Hello? Oh, hi! <laughs> Could you take any longer? So Fluffy waited. Oh, just filing my taxes. And waited. I know I hate going to the gym. And waited. And it was in my purse the whole time. <laughs> His mouth felt ever so dry. Open! 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 <laughs> Fine, I'll do it myself. Here I go! Whoa. Fluffy, stop! But oh, Fluffy didn't care. I smell them! The ribs! So Fluffy ran to the wood. Sorry, Forest. Tracing down those ribs. So tired. <sighs> Welcome, new friend. Huh? You're Lord Fluffy, right? I. Uh, what, uh... Lord Fluffy, super awesome ruler? Oh, well, in that case, yes. Well, welcome to your kingdom, Lord Fluffy. Cat Forest. Come on, we gotta show you around. Cool. And that's where he is now. Still leading cats to destiny. I never did get those ribs, though. Now it's your turn to write a story. Before we go, here's today's story spark. Kids, write a story about a character who's doing something brand new for the first time. Tell us who your character is, what they're doing for the first time, and why it's so hard. Most of all, tell us, do they succeed? Do they fail? And why? Don't forget, at Story Pirates, you always have permission to get weird. And grown-ups can download a lesson plan about today's episode and submit stories at storypirateschangemakers.org slash SPTV. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. And until next time, stay creative and stay kind. Bye. OK, it is the end of the show, so I am going to turn my phone back on. Hi, Andrew. Okay, I'm sorry I hung up earlier. I was going through a lot.